Now, shutter speed has to do with how fast the aperture opens. Let's see. So on your screen, you'll see the shutter speed. And what I do, here's my general rule. A 60th, 1 over 60 is what I pretty much shoot everything. I just like leave it at that. But if there's going to be movement, then you have to move it up to 125. Yours goes up to 1 over 4,000. That's if you want to take a picture of a train stopping. Oh, sorry. And you can also do night photography. So, questions? Um, so you say 1 over 60? Yeah, you don't actually see the, the fraction. But okay, okay. There it is. Like, okay, so 60th would be like if there's no movement. And then as soon as you think somebody's going to move, you have to move it up to like double it, I say, 125. But look okay. at your shutter speed goes all the way up to 4,000, which is cool. If something, but the thing about one over four thousand, you need a lot of light to do that, so you can't always use it. And then the other way, let's see what it goes down. It's probably like thirty seconds or something. So then you can do night photography. I do a lot of night photography, and generally I shoot stuff between five and ten seconds, which you can also do. Let's see what it goes to. It goes to thirty seconds, so that's plenty to get a night picture. That's really exciting. So if you have a Nikon, what you would do, press the ISO button for ISO. Now ISO is the sensitivity to light. It, it used to be when you'd go to get film, you'd say, I want 400 film, I want 800,000 film. I'd usually get very low ISO because it shows the light in this beautiful way. So what we're on now, I'm going to put it on 400. That's my general setting where I just leave it because 400 ISO is good for shade and you can also shoot in bright shade. So we're going to put it on 400 and we're going to start shooting in the forest. <laughs> okay. All right. And then we're going to do white balance, but if you have a question. Um, so we're doing ISO. Mm -hmm. Do you get what that is? Um, it's for shade and Oh, no, so ISO is, okay, so you got the, the aperture, the shutter speed, then you go to ISO. That's the sensitivity to light. So okay. the higher numbers are going to be in the, wor in, the, in the worst lighting situations, like when it gets very dark, when it's inside, okay. and then the lower ISOs are for nature, when you've got plenty of light. So if you just think of it that way, you can experiment and you can look at it and say, oh, do I so, like that look? For the forest, and it's like pretty shady. Um, pretty shady. Would you say like 125 or lower? You know what, higher. <clears throat> I would put it on 400, see how that goes. We could even, okay. it's pretty dark in here, we might even go to 800, but I start with 400 and see how that goes. Let's start shooting. Come on over to my site and get your free ebook for more photo tips.